Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at the City Hall in Farmington, New Mexico, with a frauditor that goes by the name of Four Corners first in there, as he attempts to audit the local city hall, only to find that because of his frequent fraud it's that the policies regarding filming in the building have changed and not exactly in his favor and he ends up getting trespassed and removed from the building by a no-nonsense officer who is not going to put up with any of his bs anymore so let's go ahead and sit back relax and enjoy the show you've been told to obey the signs that are posted and you're not can I have the state statue behind that? Dude, every time I hear one of you guys ask for the actual statute and they provide it for you, oh, you're going to say, oh, it's unconstitutional, without realizing that, well, the Tenth Amendment can grant the states the rights to create laws that are not exactly covered in the Constitution, and you know what? Phot photographing is not exactly covered in the Constitution. Nor is videotaping because, you know what, they didn't exist at that particular time. But let's carry on with the video because he's going to be standing around here for quite a while trying to get his way. You know what? I am going to turn up the uh, fast forward on this to its most maximum speed just to show you how long this guy stood here waiting to get his way. But only for the cops to show up here in a few minutes and not give him an inch. So. Prepare to fast forward! Prepare to fast forward! Fast forward! Fast forwarding, sir! <laughs> This tire right here. This is the one that This has been designated a non public form. You're no longer allowed to film in here. <laughs> Well, now, that 
was pretty damn fast. I mean, straight to the point, and you know what? This frauder isn't going to budge that much at this point, but neither is this cop. And guess who ends up winning? And it's not the frauder. So let's carry on, shall we? This is a public building, right? Public Mr. Building? Chief, I'm asking you to turn off your uh, recording. If I don't, what are you going to do? I'm going to trespass you for a period of one year from this mm -hmm. facility. Yeah, where's the? I just barely got the policies and procedures. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mr. T, you're really? now trespassed for one year from this facility. Um, you have a couple options to conduct business. You can now. I am trespassed. Are you gonna, are you, you are gonna, trespassed. Oh, my, uh, you're not going to give me a warning? No, nope, you're going to be trespassed today, okay? Um, you can now conduct business through the City of uh, Farmington website, mm -hmm. and uh, you can call non emergency dispatch and organize anything. So that what we have here is a trespass form. We're going to be I would have, I'm leaving if you're going to, you know, if you're, going to give, you're not going to give me a warning. No, I'm not giving you a warning. You trespass. I've already asked you to. Can I have to your film, business card. And you, no, I'm no longer required to give you a business card. Per it's new your policy. policy and procedure. It's no longer a policy and procedure. New policy. Yeah, you like a copy service? of our new. Uh, Hold on. Ah, uh, new policies. Uh, Ah, uh, you're doing your job now, huh, Frauditor? Uh, you've always wanted to get policies changed, and uh, now, well, they're being changed, but because of your annoying attitude, well, they're not exactly being changed in your favor. So there you go. You and you started some change. I'm policy talking. Procedure, you I'm can, talking. Uh, I prefer that, just like you've done before. Okay. This lady over so, here called the police on me. This is where we're at. Okay. He's not even giving so, me a warning. Mr. Chief, you need to stop the recording, otherwise you're going to be cited, okay? Are you going to cite me, or are you going to I, give me a chance to leave? I'm going to give you a warning. Um, I'm going to give you a citation if, if you don't stop. I'm trespassing you now. I'm going to leave. If no, you're going to be trespassed. You're gonna, no, I'm going to be trespassed? Yeah. Do you have any ID, or do you want to just provide me your information? I don't have to give my information. You do, because this is now a matter that you're being trespassed. No, you're violating my rights under the fourth. Okay, I'm I mean, telling you right first, now. None of your rights are being violated, dude. I mean, the Fourth Amendment covers unreasonable searches and seizures. This is perfectly reasonable, and all he's doing is asking for your ID. He's not going to keep it from you. But anyway, your state ID is not exactly yours to begin with. It be belongs to the state. Um, and for this is the way it is, okay? No, it's not the way it is. Yeah, okay. So we will just so do it without your gonna, ID. You're not going to give me a No, I'm not giving you a warning. warning. I've already right. asked you to turn off and your recording device. You're you sergeant? refused. You're uh, being trespassed. And you're sergeant? I am. 14th day of June. 23. It's a limited public forum. You don't this is that. no longer a public forum. I explain that to you. Okay, she's the one that called the police on me. Mr. And G. she's not giving me a trespass. Mr. He's G. not giving me a warning to leave. I'm not no. giving you a warning. I actually need you to scan 25 feet this way, okay? Because mm -hmm. I'm trying to write and I can't watch you and write at the same time. Mr. Chi, I need you to is scan. Is that a lawful order? Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Scan uh, yes, it is a lawful order, and it's a perfectly reasonable lawful order. So let's take a look at a recent... Long Island audit encounter regarding uh, lawful orders. And you shall see what a lawful order is, dude. Law enforcement, if they request you to do something that isn't illegal, immoral, or, or in putting you in harm of physical injury or death, it's best to comply. And under a new policy, I can have you stand. Show me these policies feet. that you're You can implement these policies, Mr. Chi, stand over here. Mr. Chi, stand first over here. Amendment. You really want to go hands on, do you? I want you to stand over here. You really want to go hands on, do you? Look at I'm these are new policies. Over. They're in effect today, and I'm informing you of them. Stand over here, Mr. Chi. Stand over here. All right, you are actually going to be cited if you do not comply. You didn't even give me a warning. I don't have to give you a warning. I asked you to turn off your recording. You refused. I'm up. You know, I'm leaving now. You're not leaving, you're actually Oh yeah, uh, you're always leaving just when you get trespassed. Yeah, sure. So this guy doesn't know the law either. Yeah, Heather, he's supposed to give a warning, but he's not giving me a warning. Say so he doesn't have to give me a warning? You want me to get the paper, Oklahoma Outlaw Audits? You feel free to do that, that's what we're requesting for. 
Mr. Chief, stand back over there. I didn't actually say you could come near me. Don't tell me what to do. Yes, stand over here. Mr. Chief, stand over here. What's wrong with standing right here? Because under our new policy, I can have you stand 25 feet back. I don't, I can't focus both on writing this and watching you. Please stand back for me. You can't focus on your job, you're a police officer. Stand back for me. All right, you are being silent then. Yes, the numb nuts. He is an officer, but he's trying to get you to comply with this order just to stand over there so he can keep an eye on you and fill out the uh, trespassing paperwork. It's called multitasking, something I'm sure you should learn as well. What's your date of birth, Mr. Chief? You got it all down. You guys know What's my name. What's your date of birth, Mr. Chief? Are you going to conceal on me? I actually I'm pleading the fifth. What is it? I'm pleading the fifth. So you're going to conceal on me as well? Pleading the fifth. Concealing your identity. My right to remain silent. Okay, dude, you do have the right to remain silent, but in New Mexico, it is a crime not to give your identity to a police officer during an investigation. So my suggestion to you is to give your identity and plead the fifth on those other things that could incriminate you further. I'm pleading the fifth. You don't know nothing about all of it. What's the five elements under the first? Mr. T, concealing your identity is a crime. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Your body cam on? It is. Okay. Yeah, retaliation. Or 324. Yeah, it's always retaliation when the officer is actually doing his job. I mean, at present, right now, you have been trespassed. You're concealing your identity, which is against the law. So, uh, who's in the wrong here? You are. And, uh, you saying that, uh, concealing your identity is not a crime? Well, you were, uh, completely ignorant of that right there. So, I could imagine how ignorant you are on a lot of the other things that you're talking about. So, the best thing to do right here is just to shut your damn ignorant pie hole. Just hurry and give me my paper. Can you run our locals on Mr. Cheese if you can give me a date of birth? Yeah, these guys are tyrants. They all are tyrants, and this is... You guys want to address your grievance? Call City Hall. Hey, Mr. G, stand over here. Don't tell you're, me what to really do. You're really close to going to jail is actually what's happening. You're threatening me with arrest now. I am threatening you with arrest because you're not following my commands. Those are unlawful commands. I can move these around free movement. These are policies that are in a place you cannot... You should have brought those policies you. with you. I don't have to. That's why it I don't have to listen to you if you're you, not going to show me the policies and procedures. You actually do, and that's why IPRI requested for you. You know how to do an IPRI request. You need to do it that exact direction. Yeah, he knows me. Yeah, he just wants to make himself look like a clown on YouTube. I'm actually trying to educate you because... I'm, I'm doing the educating you clowns because you guys' are feelings are hurt. I, it doesn't matter. Put me on YouTube. It doesn't worry me. I'm telling you what the new policies are. Uh, you guys you dropped the phone number again? Policies, this yeah, we should have brought those policies with you. I don't have to bring the policies. I don't have to move into wherever you have to say. If you're Actually, not going to show me these policies, this is a public building. May I get your name again? You already have my name. I'm asking. I've already told it to you. 324. 324. Yeah, Heather Holt, Farms from Mexico. Which is it, Mr. Chief, 1981 or 1990? Don't ask me. I'm pleading the fifth, I told you. I don't have to answer Mr. your Chief, question. I'm going to place you under arrest. Is that For what? For what? For concealing identification. Now you're threatening me with arrest. I'm actually not threatening identity. Oh, yeah, you just barely said you're going to place me under arrest. I don't know what's going to happen. What, which is it, 89 or 90? Give me my paper out here. All right, Mr. Chief, sign this document. 1981? Mr. Chief, time for you to leave. You're refusing to sign this trespass authorization? Give it to me out here. You're, no. you're threatening me with arrest. I'm going to tell you exactly what's going to happen. Come on over here. No, come over here and sign your form. Well, you wanted to arrest me. That's what you want to do. Well, come on out here. Come on out here. Well, he leaves the building, but he spends the next 20 minutes uh, wandering around outside, uh, bitching and complaining about what happened. And then he uh, attempts to re-enter the building. And then this happens. Many, many minutes later. 
Uh oh, you're going to retire. Mr. Chief, you've been directed to leave the property. I'm trying I want to talk to Gaines. I want to talk to Gaines. You are three seconds from being arrested. Is that what you want? Are you telling me to, are you threatening me with arrest? I'm, tell, I'm not threatening you, I'm telling you what I'm going to do. You're threatening me with arrest. Please leave the property. This is a publicly funded building, no, right? You're on the curtilage, you've been Stop following me, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Stop following so me. go. I'm making sure you're leaving, you are trespassed from this facility. Where's the paperwork? on the property. Mr. Gaines, you can I have a word with you? Come on, keep walking. You are trespassed from this. I will be having a summons for you for resisting, for uh, concealing and for trespassing. Do you understand that? That was my fifth, I told you. Okay. Mr. Well, Gaines, can I have a word with you? What, what, I, I don't uh, want to speak to you anymore. You're dismissed. So those are the things that you will be getting. You're dismissed. This is a public sidewalk. You are on the public sidewalk. You're However, dismissed. You're you are dismissed. You're not allowed to come back onto this property. You're you dismissed. That? I will give you another opportunity to sign your trespass order. Or will you do that? May I talk to you, Mr. Do Gaines? Do not come back on this Gaines, property. May I, speak I will to you? arrest you if you come back onto this property. Do you understand that? He's not understanding the law at all. He's not. He, I'm telling he's, you he's violating my rights is what he's so doing. So I am going to leave you at this point. You come back on this property, I will arrest you. About face. Have a good day. You're dismissed. Mr. Gaines, may I speak to you? M. Gaines. No, Frauditor. You are dismissed. You're the one who acted like a complete buffoon on this uh, property, and you're the one who is leaving. You're the one who is entirely dismissed because of your stupidity. And not only that, but uh, you are going to be summoned to court to uh, answer for uh, this trespass and all the other things that occurred here today, especially for your failure to ID during an investigation, which is a misdemeanor. But hey, I don't think you give a damn anyway because you have a history of frauding in this town and, uh, well, they're on to you now and they're changing their policies. So, dude, I would expect more of this in the future from the other uh, places you frequent. So, have fun. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.